Have you ever wished that your phone would help you to become more focused, yet you get constantly bombarded by all kinds of notifications and are constantly tempted to check on Twitter, or Instagram or play that funny game that you have on your phone? I'm guilty of that, definitely. Now with iOS 16 you can regain that focus. Before I had to use two phones, one for work and one for fun. Now I can throw them away and then uh, only use one iPhone with the same peace of mind and separation. Your iPhone can be your greatest productivity tool, but also your greatest productivity nightmare. Being constantly bombarded by notifications and easy access to all kinds of distractions can take a toll on your ability to focus and be present for what is currently needed. As an example, one of the recommendations was to separate work from personal stuff by having separate phones. But who likes to have two phones? Come on, it's 2022. With Apple's new iOS 16, you can finally create these separated spaces in your phone without the need to carry separate phones. Finally. To achieve this state of peace of mind, you need to use Apple's focus mode with a new lock screen feature. Focus mode is a massive extension of the old do not disturb mode, which was available until iOS 14. With iOS 15, Apple changed it to having multiple focus modes, allowing all kinds of automation which go beyond the simple do not disturb mode. Do not disturb is however still one of the pre-installed focus modes. Focus modes also got some serious upgrades with iOS 16. You can now combine it with a new lock screen feature as well as apply focus filters within apps. Also, creating and switching modes has become much more streamlined. Focus mode allows you to control your notifications, who might contact you and what app might notify you or not. What screens are active? This is one of the most overlooked productivity tools. Whether it will be activated manually, automatically, based on location, app usage and more, or at a scheduled time. Also, apps can now filter the data they will show you. Currently, you can filter with an Apple Calendar, Mail, Safari, Messages, as well as lots of third-party apps. And with iOS 16, you can also activate a specific lock screen on the iPhone with a focus mode. Or you switch to a lock screen and the focus mode gets activated automatically. So let's do a basic setup. Suppose you want to have basically a different setup for your work time and your play time. In this example, I will create a work and a play focus with different spaces and lock screens. First, Collect all your work apps on one or more specific home screens for your work focus mode. As you see, I have one screen for all my work related apps. If you wonder how I get these nice title boxes, stick with me to the bonus at the end of the video. I will also collect all my fun apps like games, video apps, etc. on a play home screen. On my reading apps, I put on a reading home screen. And I also create a misc home screen for all the other apps. Now here's a bonus tip. You can have an app appear on multiple home screens. So if I want to have Safari on the work and play home screens, I can just go to the app library, search for Safari and drag it from there to any home screen I like. And I can even drag it to multiple home screen. Now I create a new focus by going to settings, focus. There I will create a new focus with a plus icon, select custom, call it work and select a color and a glyph. Hit next and then customize focus. Here I could select which people are only allowed to either notify me with this focus active or which I want to silence with this focus. I am not using this option for this focus mode. Also, I could allow or silence notifications from specific apps. I'm going to silence iTunes store, music, photos and tips for this focus. Then I can customize which lock screen and which home screens are active. Now this is the best part of the method. Let's first go to the lock screen. Since I want to create a new lock screen, I'm going to click the link called gallery. And here I choose one from the collection section. I can also change the font and color for the time display or add widgets. Since this is a work lock screen, I add the calendar. Down at the bottom, I can change the appearance of the screen. And with this, I can change the color. So let's go for blue. With the three dot menu, I can also set whether I want light, dark or automatic mode. I go for automatic. With add in the top right corner, I add the new lock screen and set it for my new work focus. I then can set whether I want this also as wallpaper from home screens or whether the home screens should have a separate layout. I choose set as wallpaper pair. Next, I set which home screens are active in this focus. 
Since I titled them already, it is easy for me to select the work and the misc home screens, but not the play and the reading home screens. I set it with done. If you also have an Apple Watch connected to the phone, you can select which watch face will be activated. Pretty cool, right? I can also set whether I want this focus to be selected automatically. Then iOS will analyze when I activate it and it might switch it on later automatically at the same time or at the same location. I can also define a specific schedule. Now under schedule, I can not only set at which time this focus mode will be activated, but also at which location or when you start a specific app. One automation here could be if you arrive at your workplace that your work focus mode will be automatically activated and your play mode once you reach your home. I choose not to do this here. I like to enable them manually. And the last option is to add focus filters. This is new to iOS 16 and it allows apps to show only selected content to you. Currently, you can select which calendars will be shown, which mail accounts will be shown in Apple Mail, to only show message conversations with the people you have selected for this focus mode, which Safari tab group will be shown, and also some third-party apps like Airmail, Outlook, Fantastical or Drafts have already started to incorporate this new feature. And I bet there will be coming way more in the upcoming future. If you use these app filters, there will be a message within the app showing you that the content is filtered. You can quickly deactivate and reactivate the filter within the app without needing to reactivate the whole focus mode. And lastly, you can also delete the focus mode if you don't need it any longer. Now that I have set up my work focus mode, let's do the same with the play focus mode. I will do this in speed mode. So now that we have set up these two focus modes, how can we use them? There are several ways you can activate or deactivate a focus mode. First, via the control center. Drag the control center from the top right corner. Then you will have the focus selector. Tap on it and it will be activated or deactivated. An active focus is highlighted. Also, you will see the icon from the focus mode in the status bar and at the bottom of the lock screen. Tapping on the three dots will also allow you to temporarily activate it for one hour until next morning or until you leave the current location, which is also pretty great. And with settings, you jump to the settings page where you edit the configuration. Be aware that sleep is a special focus mode, which will be activated through the sleep function in your clock app. Second, via Siri. You can activate a focus mode by saying, hey Siri, turn on work focus or hey Siri, turn off work focus. It worked. Third, via the lock screen. Press and hold the lock screen until you get the lock screen switcher. Switch to the lock screen which is associated with a specific focus mode and it will be automatically activated. Ta-da! I now have separated my work and my play modes. Now here are some caveats. Of course, you could still access all apps through the app library or search. So this is no guarantee that you will not waste time with some games during your work time but reducing the visibility of apps by hiding the home screens and suppressing the notifications of some apps is a great first step for increasing your ability to focus on the task at hand or actively selecting play without regretting it. Another great app you can combine with focus modes is the Shortcuts app. If you go into automation within the Shortcuts app on iOS, you'll find at the bottom all you created focus modes. And here you can start an automation when you activate or deactivate a specific focus. I do have another focus mode, which I call concentrate. This one will play a certain playlist when the focus mode gets activated and it will stop playing it when I get out of the focus mode. What unfortunately currently is not possible is switching a SIM on and off if you have multiple SIMs in your phone. This would be great if you have a work and a personal line active and want to switch off the work number with a focus mode. Unfortunately, there is currently no command for that in the shortcuts app. How about the iPad? The iPad OS 16 is still in beta, but it will also get some love for the focus mode. It will get nearly anything without the lock screen because the lock screen feature isn't in iPad OS 16. I expect we need to wait until iPad OS 17 for that. But otherwise, you have all the options to also use focus modes as well on the iPad. And how about the Mac? Yes, focus modes are available on the Mac since Mac OS 12, aka Model A. So as it's not as powerful here, you can only enable disable notifications and set a schedule for activation. And with Mac OS 13, aka Ventura, which is coming up and currently in beta, you can set focus filters for some apps. 
Currently, only Apple Mail, Calendar, Messages and Safari are in that list for me. So you can't select a specific work screen or set up home screens or which apps you want to see. Also, automation via the Shortcuts app is currently not supported on Mac, even with the upcoming Mac OS Ventura beta. Another great feature with focus modes is that they are synced through iCloud, which means once you set it up on one device, it will get synced to your iPhone, iPad and Mac and even your Apple Watch. And once you activate it on one of those devices, it will be activated on all of them at the same time, which is great. So say you enter the concentrate focus mode on the iPhone, it will immediately be activated on your Apple Watch, iPad and Mac. Any notifications which are disabled will not reach any of your devices, for instance. So I hope you'll got a taste for how powerful focus modes have become and now have plenty ideas for how to create your perfect focus mode setup. Stick with me if you want to know the bonus tip for creating these nice title bars on my home screen. To do this, you have to use a free app called Widgetsmith. I'll put the link in the description. This is an app for all kinds of powerful widgets you can place on your home screens and with iOS 16 also on your lock screens. You start the app, select home screen at the top and then scroll to add medium widget. In the next screen, you select under photos the option custom text. Then Tapping theme, you can select the style and color and then tapping on text, you write your text. Tapping on settings at the top allows you to name the widget. You can also launch a specific URL when this title bar is tapped. Now then press back and then save to save it. And on your home screen, press and hold in the background until you get all the icons in wiggly mode. Tap the plus icon in the top left corner, select Widgetsmith from the app list, select medium and tap add widget. The widget is inserted, but it might show the wrong text, so tap on it again and select the newly created widget. Finish with done in the top right corner. If you like this video, please hit the like button. I really appreciate it and it will help me gain traction with the YouTube algorithm. So thanks for that. And if you don't want to miss my regular updates here, you should also hit the subscribe button as well. Also, if you haven't seen my video on how you now can use Stage Manager on the upcoming iPad OS 16, now also with older iPad Pros from 2018 and 2020, you can jump to it now via this link. That's it for now. See you next time. Bye.